my mother had bought home an article on um, Jean Miles as they were nominating her for the Hall of Excellence, which of course she did not make because of you know certain attributes they they put on her. And I I read about this woman. I thought, oh my God, I think the search for Jean Miles is the search for my identity as well, Cecilia, because I do many parts as an actress, but when I saw a picture of this woman and read about this woman, I thought I could play this part. I, a Portuguese Trinidadian, have, an, have a heroine that I could I could play and I could look up to. That, that would be my identity and Trinidad's identity and remind everybody about Jean Miles. I mean, that the heroines that we have in this country because we don't know about them. We don't know about the heroes. Your children, they don't know anything. So. Started in 2006 and then Tony and I had worked together and Tony said that's a great, he wanted to do something on her as well. He had seen her perform. So it was serendipity, as you would, how we started working together. Um, slowly, we would research and then Tony would call me up by him and we do improvs. Improvs based on whatever I'd read and on the scenes and then he would write a poem and send it to me and in between there he did plays, I had a baby. Just 2011, and the time was right. It's evolved because it's such a large body of work. Too, if you think about it, it's it's a life, a life. We did International Women's Day. We did a play for that last year, which was a big deal for me to do it for that day. Uh, we did it um, World Anti-Corruption Day. We've been doing a piece of it in Woodford Square, which is December the 9th, which is coincidentally serendipity again, the day she died, and it is World Anti-Corruption. We've done that two years, and uh, she sang in a tent. So here we're gonna do that too. We're gonna sing in a tent. She really had a rich, rich full life for 42 years. She uh, 